What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're starting a new walkthrough. This walkthrough is called L.A. Noir, and you know how I usually call myself the ultimate rock star fanboy, and I felt that I couldn't exactly call myself that if I haven't played this game. So there was a sale on the PS3 version of the PlayStation Network. This game was only $8. So I said, why not get it? And then when I got it, I said, why not do a walkthrough on it? So without further ado, let's go. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. City of Dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch it. the Illuminati symbol? I'm gonna guess that this is taking place in the 1920s. Like if you know a little bit about American. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. So we're playing as the pigs. Here we go again. The feds, well, they're not federal agents, but... For an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Oh, I almost hit that car. That's partly because my controller is broken. You can see, if I was the... Just to turn this right here, it just stays there. So I'm going to do something about that. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. I'm pretty sure they weren't calling weapons gats back then. I mean, I could be wrong, but... This is a fist hump. Just going through the No, it's a fist hump. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. Have it my way like Burger King. What's that blinking light up there? I need this guy to shut up. What's that blinking light up there, though? There's some blood splatters up here, too. This must be where the guy uh, got shot. Blood stain. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Jeez. Hell of a way to go. How'd he throw it all the way up Ralph, there? there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. What's oh, a reflection? Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. 
Don't hurt yourself. So it must be somewhere close to there. It must be up here if it's a reflection of it. How are we gonna get up there? Right. Press square and there you go. So brain. we need to find a way up. Move toward a drain pipe. Well, this is the only one that's near the building. Okay, climb up there. There goes the blinking light. Oh, there goes the gun. I'm a real detective. Smith and Wesson, Revolver. serial S71893. Got four in the clip. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, let's go to the gun store, then. If you're a criminal and you have a registered weapon, you're not just going to throw it where somebody can see it. And then they can just trace it right back to you. All right, so we're at Central Guns. We have the gun. We're going to go try to figure out if we can see Officer who this owner is. Done. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. He pointing it like that. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? I don't see the model anywhere. I see the grips, though, so we're going to look for pearl grips. I do not see pearl anywhere. Oh, there you go, right there. Pearl grips. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Errol Street. Schroeder. Ordered the gun in February 46. That's our guy. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Well, you better not say that too loud. Mafia be waiting outside his house. Or outside the kindergarten when his in? wife go pick up Let's his daughter. Home. Well, where's my mind at right now? The trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. It's a sad apartment. It's a hole in the wall. You gonna hit me? It's a sad little apartment. Inspect the mailbox to learn. Okay, that would have been smart. I was just gonna go upstairs and knock on some doors. Apartment two. Schroeder. Apartment two. It's three. Why is three first? Doesn't make sense. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Do you now? How did it end up at the crime scene? Exactly. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh. Oh, man. You ready, tough How do I dodge? I just know how to punch. How do I dodge? Okay. That was a very... You block with... Oh, he knocked my head off. Oh. Hit him with the uppercut. Dodge that one, too. This dude's not ready. Oh. Oh, we hit him with the knees. It's like this is UFC or Ralph, something. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. That wasn't exactly the tie clinch or anything like Keep that. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. I don't look like too many important things in here. It's just his kitchen. Let's look at the drawer where that uh, weapon was supposed to be. But I don't, I don't think this guy's a suspect, though. Turn pages back. Floyd Rose, who's that? List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Who is that? Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Yeah, using a lot of modern words. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, 
That's 1247. Requesting. Oh, this looks like a memory or a flashback. Train. like people going off the war. They're playing that kind of music in the background. You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe! <laughs> I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I mean, they're going to war. Your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges <laughs> and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. Jesus Christ. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Street. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I don't know what any of those acronyms mean, but I feel like we're going to find out. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. Solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Alright guys, we're going this right here. This is going to be part one or episode one, whatever you want to call it, of the L.A. Noir walkthrough. These parts or episodes will be coming out a little later only because of the type of videos that they are and they're a little longer. And they won't be coming out in the morning like I usually do because my average video is like 7 or 8 minutes at the most. And these can be as long as 20 or 30 minutes long. And nobody has time to watch those in the morning. So they'll be coming out probably because most of my fan base is younger. So it'll probably be coming out like after school. And then the next one will come out like a little later after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series uh, as we progress. And I'm going to see my King Gamer Squad in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.